Welcome back to High Minded with McCarter featuring my co-host SK. Hey, what up? We are here to talk to you more about cannabis and hemp and other plant medicines that have helped us and changed our lives for the better. But yeah, and today we talked to um, Cam, my good friend Cam. The Fino Finder. Yes, you can check him out at, at The Fino Finder on Instagram. And he was really insightful. We talk a lot about um, his background and how he got into cannabis. He was a really big athlete. Um, and kind of felt that stigma definitely in college. But then once he got hurt, he started using cannabis more like for the pain, first of all. And then it was just helping his anxiety a lot. And now he's kind of on this path of like finding all the best strains and identifying different terpenes um, and working with different, you know, genetic and seed companies to like really get the best genetics out there, which is really cool. Yeah, it was really interesting talking to him about the difference between like genotype, phenotype, um yes really and, and how you on get the smell and the terpenes yes and following your your like body and your nose too mm-hmm. like if you really like the smell of something then your body probably like needs that in some way like totally well going back Those, to her, yeah your ECS is um really picking up on the um certain things are mm-hmm. you know not in excess or I had so many more questions almost about the I know. afterwards. So. All these people, I feel like we do like an hour and a half interview and we try to cap it because then it gets to be too long. And then right when they leave, I'm like, okay, well now I have like a whole nother hour worth of questions <laughs> yeah. that we like just kind of stumbled into. Mm-hmm. Totally. <laughs> but we're going to have all, all of our friends back on and get follow-ups. And he just started working with the Sensi Magazine team and with Bloom County, who has really good genetics. Nice. So I just love, you know, keeping tabs on people and like keeping track of all the cool, amazing shit that people are doing. Um, he's so great. He's an amazing basketball player too. Still, um, I've also he's a mo- he's a good model. I've used him for um, like yeah yeah. He's I could say that he's a handsome guy. Mm-hmm. So ladies, he's single. <laughs> <laughs> Catch him at the Fino Finder. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. Follow him on Instagram, and we hope you like this episode. Thanks so much for listening to High Minded with McCarter and stay high. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to High Minded with McCarter, Mm -hmm. featuring my co-host, SK. Hey, hey. And today, I'm so excited to have my friend Cam, a.k.a. the Fino Finder, on the podcast. Welcome! Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. I'm so happy to have you on. We've been friends for a couple years, and I've always admired what you do with finding terpenes, basically. That's kind of what Fino Finder is. Well, actually, can you just tell us what what you do? Well, yeah, that's the thing. That's how Fino Finder started was me doing like little wee reviews just off my phone real quick. Yeah. Um, I grab a strain and just talk about like like you said, the terpenes and the flavors and and the uh the smells, the aromas and the effects and just get into the nuances of how it um, you know, affects me and what I like about the different strains and why I Hell like this yeah. and like that. So yeah, pretty much it's about just getting into that really. Nice. Yeah. So how long have you been doing the weed reviews then online? Uh two years now. Amazing. Two years. I started two years ago, September, um, when Green Dot first dropped their first <laughs> strain i'll never forget and oh my gosh yeah, just took off from there okay well i'd want to hear about i'd like to kind of start with all my guests of like can you tell us like when and why you first started consuming cannabis mm-hmm. and then kind of just take us to up till now yeah and then yeah. we can dive in and then i have some questions bet, bet, yeah um and yo, we gotta smoke obviously of course of course cam's rolling up his famous joints please yeah, take yeah. it away all right so um you know i didn't i'm not one who really got into weed at an early age, I, it, it wasn't until college. Okay. It wasn't until college because... Where did you go to college? Uh, Penn State. That's right. So I went to Penn State Harrisburg to play basketball, which was Division three. I wasn't getting scholarships and this and that, you know. But but yeah, so I was there for ball. It was in 2007. I went in the fall and I got hurt right when I got... Right when I started doing well. Fuck. I started to get the hang of college ball. Yeah. And then I got hurt. Oh, my and gosh. And this freak accident play almost tore ligaments in my ankle. Right. Oh my! I had to Lord. wear this boot and all this stuff, and um, so I was living with people who didn't play on the team. So they living that college life, yes. right? You know what I'm saying? They doing Getting whatever. Getting faded every day. Yeah, all that shit. You know, everybody going yes. to parties and stuff or whatever. The team yeah. going to parties and partying with them or whatever. But like, they ain't smoke. They don't smoke like that. Yeah. But yeah. you know, some teams do. 
like mm-hmm. a lot of people do. But they didn't smoke like that. But my roommates did. So when I got hurt, yeah, I'll never forget that my best friend came through. We was at the homegirl's house. And it was me and my roommates. I was over there with my best friend. And they was like, all right, you going to smoke? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Back then, I, w- I just enjoyed it. You know, as a thing other than drinking. Yeah. I like to drink, too. But, like, you know, back then, that was just another thing to do. That was fun. Play video games, hang out, whatever. Totally. Watch movies. But, you know, I'm smelling like it, this and that. Da, 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 da. So <laughs> my, my paranoia and my brain starting to go off. So I'm like, damn, I can't be doing this like that. So I'm, like, trying to figure out if it's a good or bad thing. Yeah. Basically, it's like a mental, like, struggle type thing. Oh, right? yeah. You know what I mean? Like, And it's like, it was kind of fucking with my brain. Because, like, now I really realize what it is and how it means so much to me. And how I was right all along. Yes. And everybody else was wrong. Like, yes. and it sounds crazy or whatever, but like. No, I feel the real. same way. It was real. Like, all of them other people was wrong and I was right. I should have been smoking the whole time. It would help me with my anxiety on the court. Yeah. Being able to perform and all of that shit. Mm-hmm. Like it's proof. I am proof. Mm-hmm. Period. So like. Wow. That's the biggest thing for me. And that struggle was going on back then, but I couldn't see it. Now I can step back and look like, oh, I see. Yes. But like, you know. Hindsight's twenty twenty, as mm-hmm. they say. Yep, exactly. And you can learn so much from looking back at it, too. Yeah. Whatever. Wait, so did you get any shit from your teammates at the time of like, oh, bro, you're like, you're smoking too much? Like, that's not. So what happened was I would smoke with a couple of my teammates. Two of them, we smoked a couple of times. And they weren't like regular smokers, but they yeah. would do it here or there. And then they would start to do it like mm-hmm. like maybe once a week. And then like, all right, now nah, I'm good. Yeah. And I would keep smoking. You know what I mean? And then yeah. It like, started to be this like thing. You, you know would, you would like, keep going and they would like slow down. Mm-hmm. Like, because I've had friends like that too. It's like, okay, we're both like getting into this. Like, oh, like let's let's smoke a bowl together. Like I'll yeah, pick you like up. Thank every you. night mm-hmm. it's fine. But then it's like, okay, now it's like the afternoon too. Like, and y'all whatever. gotta remember, this is 2008. In Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. Middletown, oh Pennsylvania. God. If anybody out there knows Middletown, Pennsylvania, or Harrisburg, that's the mm-hmm. capital of Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. I was like, I've heard of Harrisburg. So it's like right outside Harrisburg, because technically it was Penn State Harrisburg. It was right outside. So um, we just, uh, yeah, we had, it was terrible. The cops were literally crooked. You can read about it in the papers, all this oh shit. So it's like God. a lot of paranoia going on with it. So it was a terrible place to really learn to love cannabis mm-hmm. <laughs> in a way. But it kind of, it was good because I got through a lot of things um, with that. Wait, and where and you- uh, it's nice to have the like illegal experience. I feel like that's it's I, like I to like live in a place where you have the culture to. is just you don't so have to, but like yeah, it's, it's you it's learn a, a lot. You learn a lot. It's like you'll never really experience it again. Not so. anymore. Nope. Yeah, I guess in some crazy. places in the in the world definitely the world, is like sure, yeah. super scary. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, in like Singapore and other places, you'll be like prison for life. Yeah, for China. China. Exactly. yeah, for sure. which is just beyond it. Like I just. Thank the Lord I was born in America. <laughs> nah, I feel you, like, for real. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. But, but wait, where are you from again? I'm from, I was born in D.C., raised in Maryland. That's right. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then. It, County. It was only a couple, it's only a couple hours, right, to Pennsylvania. I don't know, mm-hmm. actually. Two hours to, to Harrisburg. Okay. Um, so you two hours that to far Philly. from home, but. Not too far. Okay. Nah, my parents would come to all the games and all that shit. Like, Aww. my fam would be there. It would be cool. <sighs> Whenever I would get a dunk, it would be great. I would fucking scream my face <laughs> off. And it was wild. You the know whole, what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. Audience. All that That's shit. That's amazing. Yeah, 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 it was great. Nice. But um, but yeah, it was just this whole mental struggle with weed mm-hmm. and like playing ball. Cause I love ball. And I felt like I had to live up to this thing. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't doing I wasn't living up to the thing because it was like a mental thing going on. I didn't realize how much of a mental battle things were and how to deal with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People didn't really talk about that shit like that much back then, yeah. you know? Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't really at all talked about, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. So I got hurt again. And then what happened was I got hurt and I went to the physical therapy joint. Same spot, Dreyer Physical Therapy. Those are my people out of uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and I'll never forget. I was just like, I love this environment. I want to do something like this. How do I do this? I, I was like, I don't want to be a physical therapist per se. Maybe. I don't know. But like something like this. Yeah. And he was like, kinesiology you got to switch a major go to the main yes. campus i was like oh, okay so i go to the main campus so i had to wait what uh, was your major at that point uh communications so i was trying to do something like graphic design type yes, thing or something that was my like minor <laughs> the funny thing is one of my professors freshman year i'll never forget she's like yo you will be great on tv and radio you just got the voice in the face for hell all yeah that. here I'll we are forget it. I, i'm like yo i'm doing it now 
<laughs> like it just happened. I didn't yes. think about it. She just popped in my head. Like, yo, wow. You gotta hit her up. Send her this. Yeah. Send her this podcast when it's yeah, out. Right. <laughs> She'd be like, hey, hope you're well. Here's me. Right. Doing what you said I was Straight meant up. to do. Straight she up. manifested it. That's awesome. Yeah, yo. So um But then you switched to kinesiology. I sw- yep, switched to kinesiology. So I had to lead a team, which I was like, all right, I'm kinda done with this with this. I lost my starting spot because I got hurt right before the season. Oh. Um and this was your junior year? Nah, sophomore. sophomore this is my okay. sophomore year. Oh, my sophomore year. Okay. Because I got hurt freshman year with the, the, the oh, ligament okay. thing. Yeah. So that was like middle of the year. Mm-hmm. Came back, played at the end of the year, oh. summer came back and then and then I got hurt right before the season. Jesus. Like I missed like the week before training camp started. I missed it. I missed uh, I got oh. hurt playing pickup with the team. No. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was the worst timing ever. So that happened, lost my starting spot, didn't get it back. Um so Jesus. I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'll just go do this cuz I really want to do this anyway. Mm-hmm. Go up to the main campus and this is when I really learned weed. And now time for a quick commercial break. This episode is brought to you by Herbie. They have CBD, CBG, and CBN tinctures that are made from organically sourced hemp grown in Colorado, extracted with ethanol. They don't use any pesticides and are non-GMO. My favorite thing they offer are the gummies. They are no artificial colors or flavors, and they really help me with relieving stress, pain, and helping me fall asleep. You can use code McCarter for 25% off your order. Check them out at helloherbie.com. That's H-E-L-L-O-H-E-R-B-I-E.com. I saw this documentary called The Union. If y'all ain't seen this shit, y'all got to see this shit. I've seen that, yeah. You, Back yeah, in you, the day. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And I you, haven't. It blew my hip, mind at the time. You're hip to everything now. I'm telling you, like pretty much okay. everything in it, you're like hip to okay. it now. But at the time, you were like... At the time, it was like, it's how I learned and has how I like started to like revere weed. Okay. Like, wow, that's something else. It's yeah. Not just like, like this a, is an incredible fucking pot. plant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like pot make it sound like yeah. all basic and shit. Yeah. Just some like <laughs> yeah. some spice. I mean like, yeah. When you say cannabis and talk about it as a sacred herb, it's been around for thousands of years. Yes. Like, people use it for medicine. It's like, wow, it's something special. It's an, it is an ancient so, Medicine. Yeah. yeah. It you took know, so. me from that dare mindset of like, oh, pot dare. Weed. Yeah, like, exactly. Dare. Like, oh, yep. this is, you know, illegal for, mm-hmm. you know. Does it just like show how great weed is? Yeah, it just shows how great <laughs> weed is pretty much. It gives you a different perspective, though, and it tells you about like how it works, the underground system, okay. and how it, it like in certain areas of the country, they wouldn't survive without literally illegal weed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. the illegal system literally is keeping that economy going. In like Humboldt County and oh, yeah. stuff like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was really highlighting that back then. And I know it's a lot of shady stuff going on with that area, but yeah. <laughs> regardless, <laughs> it was people like Joe Rogan on there. Mm-hmm. It was uh, Lester Grinspoon on there. Oh. And other people like that, like big names that, you know, are into it and are outspoken, mm-hmm. um, talking about why it shouldn't be illegal and how and, and why it is illegal. Okay. The biggest thing, I, real quick, the biggest thing for me that got me. And honestly, this influenced a lot of the way I think. Okay. That's just one one thing I learned. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, they're on. coming off. I bet. <laughs> um, yeah. So do you remember how they used to say, we kill brain cells? Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? And you probably remember this from the thing. They did a study on monkeys. And what they did was take weed and put a, a oxygen mask on their face, covering their whole nose uh-huh. and mouth, and pump the weed in there. Smoke. <laughs> these poor monkeys for minutes not even vapor for minutes oh my god these poor monkeys so that's suffocation yes that's not even smoking weed Jesus. yeah and that's the way that they, they were killed able the to, brain cells yeah. and then they say the weed kills brain cells and it's like mm-hmm. no because you deprive the brain of oxygen right? so think about this poor is just science something else but think about however many studies are done that people just be like oh the study said this <laughs> yes exactly, yeah. Are, all yeah. the time go ahead and see how they did that study and oh come back gosh. to come back and talk to me because that's crazy. That I didn't know that influenced me so much in the way I think because I'm a scientist technically. I got my degree and all that shit. Mm-hmm. I've done personal training with all these different people, worked and done and shit, and experimented and done it all. You know what I'm saying? I worked in labs and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how shit was done. You yeah. can't just look at the end result and totally. be like, "Oh, okay, cool." But yeah, I just want to say that. Yeah. Wow, or just read a headline. That, right. Like, you can't totally. just read no headlines. That's like the, you got yes. the details. I was. That's details. what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. All these people pulling headlines, trying to like name facts. And yeah, exactly. Like, wait, 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 wait. Let's yep. back up a little bit. And taking the one study's headline and being like, 
this whole thing is good or bad, like creating right. a dichotomy of good or bad, like mm-hmm. a moral. It's like and everything is like a spectrum. Too. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, we can get into that more too. That's a great point. That's a great point <laughs> yeah, I would love to talk about too. But, um, oh yeah, wait, let's finish the, co- finish the college journey. Jesus. Yes, it's a long journey. <laughs> It was the the documentary influenced me. Okay. But then I get up to the main campus and I'm not playing ball for a team for the first time in ugh, so long. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Years, like over 10 years. I was going to say shit. like eight or 10 you years. Know? And I, I obviously I play like pickup or whatever, but like, you know, it still is like, oh, I got the team coming mm-hmm. up. And, you know, and then I remember one time I smoked and I was so high. I was like, damn, I feel like I'm too high to go play. <laughs> Sometimes I would smoke and let it kind of wear off and go. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to play whatever. I didn't really feel it. But this time I remember I was fucking high. <laughs> You're like, I cut it too close this yeah, time. I'm stoned, yo. <laughs> Smoke something different. We was getting good weed too. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to start getting good weed. And, I was going to uh, say, wait, quick question. Where were, pe- were, pe- were people, excuse me, were hmm? people driving stuff in from like Colorado out of state? Or oh, what? he was coming in, yeah. Okay. Colorado for sure. Okay. That was one of the places that I remember him, the homie saying like, yo, Colorado, da 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 da. Yeah. Grape ape, <laughs> cotton candy, kush. The grape yeah. ape. We were always yeah. talking about the grape, grape ape. ape. That was the first time I smoked grape ape out oh. in Penn State. Yep. Wow. Like Blue Dream and shit. Too. That's so nostalgic. Nice. Cotton candy kush. Yeah. yeah. But, wow. Some strains are dropping. It's yeah, so yeah. it's crazy how some strains are just like nostalgic mm-hmm. to me now. Some just like have died off. It's like the mother died and now it's a memory. Mm-hmm. It's, it is nostalgia. You fucking oh, with? thank you. Yes. Um, but yeah, I was super stoned. I went and played, and I remember getting in the zone, and I did some shit that I was like. What the fuck did I just do? Like, I crossed somebody <laughs> up and, you know what I mean? I did a step back. So I don't know what the move was, but I just remember me like, yo, I can't even remember what I did, mm-hmm. but it was amazing. You know what I'm saying? You're like, like did anyone get that on tape? Yo, Ankles real. were broken. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, I just tapped into something else that I rarely tap into, but I'm high as shit right now. So I feel like yeah. it's this weed. So I did it again. Yeah. I went smoke and play and then went smoke and play and I, then it just became a routine. Smoke yeah. and go. Because you said it helped you relieve your anxiety, too. Yes. I didn't realize how much anxiety I had around shit before. Like, I just, you know, thought I would be nervous for shit. Yeah. But it was more than, it was such more. Totally. So much more of a feeling than that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, hands getting sweaty and feeling, you know, starting feeling all weird and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm you like, know what I'm saying? Like, I start, like, sweating profusely yeah. and, like, I'll get my chest will get really, really red that it looks like I have a huge rash. Like, people come up to me and be like, are you okay? Like, it looks like you fell in, like, some poison ivy. And I'm like, no, this is just how my body reacts to my anxiousness when I don't have weed. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. calm me down. Yeah, so I didn't realize that then, but this is when I'm starting to learn it. Hell yeah. And I started to use it, and I unlocked things and started to play different, even. Like, my game changed. So I started cool. to become the player I always knew I could be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Doing different things with the ball and defense and this. And do you and, feel wow. like you had more confidence, too? More confidence, all that shit. Oh, more confidence, that. all that shit. But I had to—this is the other thing, though, because, like, people talk about, like, how much you smoke or this or that. I was like, man, I got, I got to keep my tolerance up because I don't want to be— too stoned. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I have yeah. been too high or I smoked the wrong thing and I just felt lazy on the court. Okay. That definitely happened. So that I, goes into strains, yeah. like why strains are so important. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. So, so did yeah. you, oh, sorry, you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think we were going to ask the same thing. What yeah, strains like, did you yeah, find? So <laughs> is this what kind of um, started your journey into different strains definitely. and what strains? Oh, amazing. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. I was like on Leafly back in college, back in 09, I was on Leafly mm-hmm. looking up shit and yes. there was barely anything on there, but yeah. it was amazing. You're like writing posts amazing. in. <laughs> Yo. Were you posting back in 09 on Leafly? Mm-mm. I, I wish you were. I'm sorry. I made that up. Nah. Joke. I'm like, he's writing <laughs> nah. in. I wish it I was should've. like a Wikipedia Yeah, you thing. could really just um, go Because my thing was I wanted to make sure – I wanted to test it mm-hmm. to see, uh, yo, is this this? Like, really? Yeah. Or like, ooh, can I find this? Like, uh, uh, um talking to whoever I'm getting weed from or whatever, like, yeah. yo, you get this shit? Or have you seen something like this? Or whatever, oh, nice. just that wow. sparking those conversations. Okay. And then I remember, I think it was the Blue Dream one that was the one that I was like, okay, this is definitely this. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely this. Like, whoa, this is different. Like, it was one of the most different strains I had seen whoa, at the time. Oh, that's so cool. Like, and that's when I was like, okay, it's some legitimacy to this. Mm-hmm. And then from there, not till I got back home from college, I started to smoke more. I had a good plug back then. Mm-hmm. And I started to smoke more. And I remember this one time he gave me weed. I was like, yo, this smells like gummy bears. <laughs> he said, that's what it's called. <laughs> no. I swear to God. You just have the I nose. Swear to God. Oh I swear to God. How do you I have like, this yo. nose? 
I don't even know. I just he's like, shut like, up. Yo. That's what it's called. Like straight up, I was like, you're playing with me, bro. That's he's insane. like, no, that's what it's called. Gummy bears. Cam has got the so nose. Crazy. So that's kind of where it's, and it just was a building wow. process, and then came out here. Um, when did you come out to Colorado? 2014. So I moved back home for a little bit, started personal training. I got my degree, started personal training back home, 24 for like mm-hmm. a year. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, damn, I would either want to go still the basketball thing. So I was either going to go overseas for a little bit. Cool. And I was going, I was wow. training to do that. Or I was going to come out here, do the weed thing. Mm-hmm. Nice. I flipped a coin. I swear to God, I flipped the coin. No, you did not. <laughs> um, but no, so back to like the phenos. Can you mm-hmm. explain kind of to people who don't know what pheno even means? And yeah. so like how you kind of with your brand and everything. Yeah. yeah. So basically, um, so you got genotype and phenotype. You're looking at genetics, right? Mm-hmm. And then you got um, the gene is the actual gene in the body or whatever. And the phenotype is how it's physically expressed. Mm. So if you got what X strain or... Blue. It's like the pundit squares. We'll say sour. <laughs> since I'm smoking this, we'll say sour and I got sour animal, right? Yeah. If I cross the sour animal with the OG Kush, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. We get seeds from that and I grow a seed. Each one will be a different phenotype. Mm-hmm. Just like humans. I feel but like it humans, came from the same parents. But it came from the same parents. So just like right? how like me and my sisters yeah. Yeah. look yeah, different. Same thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're you're the, the different expression of your parents' genes mixed together wow. in different physical ways. So, you yeah. know, that's why people look uh, similar. So it's mm-hmm. it's so cool to get into it. Oh, that's when you crazy. think about it, it's like, you know, you get it. If we did that cross of these two strange sour animal OG Kush, all right, we're going to get. Three of them that got characteristics physically of the sour animal. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to get three of them that got physically characteristics mm-hmm. of the OG Kush. But then this one might have a little purple hue to it. This one might like have a little particular combined. smell. Yeah, like whatever. Like they come out so different just like humans do. Yeah. You know, your siblings and things. <clears throat> and it's, it's just so cool to see that. And it yeah. just intrigues me. And it's like literally endless because every time it's going to be different when yeah. you cross something new. Mm-hmm. And you can just keep crossing stuff. Yeah, I was just you know? going to say, McCarter and I both have um, jars of our home grow, and it's all the Lemmy Wings, but each jar mm. is very unique. Mm-hmm. Um, we have mm-hmm. five yeah. different jars of the exact oh, yes. strain. Yes. So, so I want to have you smell them, Bet. actually, Bet. and just tell us like what you smell and the differences. Work. So then also, like how do like the cannabinoids and the terpenes, like, can you predict the cannabinoids based on like the terpene profile that you smell? Some, I can't. You can't? I can't say I do. I just go off I just go off the smells. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like strictly. And the, the smell tells me exactly how I'm going to feel. I know exactly if I like it, if I get excited. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I'm like, oh, yes, this is what I want. I feel that. that. Now, some of them, I got to think about it and be like, hmm, smell it again. Da-da-da-da. I got a very special way of smelling weed now, too, that mm-hmm. I've been doing strain descriptions really? for Bloom. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Doing a lot of just writing little things and having to do these strains real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I got to be able to smell it better. Because, you know, smelling all these different strains is like, fuck. Yeah. Wait, do you you smell the cleanser? Yeah, the coffee beans. You're supposed to, I heard you're supposed to smell coffee coffee. beans. Mm -hmm. Always got coffee. It helps to sip. In between. Sipping. Okay. I sip while I do it. Because that's what they do with the perfume. Mm-hmm. At perfume bars, mm-hmm. they got it in yeah. some dispensaries too. Totally, really? they, they got coffee dispensary. beans there. Oh some gosh. only a couple. I only haven't a, seen that. It's between. old school, I think. Yeah. Now, far and few between. Awesome, I love that. Yeah, it's. it's <laughs> I find that sipping helps though when I'm smoking, even or smelling it or okay. smoking it. If I'm sipping the coffee actively, mm-hmm. that helps. Well, I would love for you to smell some of the weed mm. that we grew too, and just like tell us. Let's see what you got here. Yeah. Well, least. we may be starting with the worst one. <laughs> what? Yes. The worst? I think it smells like hay and it like, it makes me cough so much. And I don't think it, this one gets me high. It smells like a juice. <laughs> a juice? I'm like, let me get my nose in there. Like a I celery like, juice? A kale juice? I think you just needed to give it more space Am in this I little jar, maybe. Am I tripping? I'm like, let me see this. Well, no, I That should smell like juice to me. I, I trust I'm you. not, no cap on my end. I'm like, I smell a, a fruity fucking, mm-hmm. maybe it's because I took this big ass swig of coffee just now. Yeah, that one to me has like a little chocolate to it. Like, yo, I'm getting a like V8 juice. Mm. Well, that's better. I do feel like it's getting better and better. With that's the better cure. than I was expecting, honestly. So this is a different plant, and this, yeah, all. Ooh, that one's got more of a funk to it, like a sour, more that deep mm-hmm. smell, like I was talking about. Hmm. Mm. 
almost smell like eucalyptus. I'm getting that eucalyptus. Oh, eucalyptus. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That one is hard. Like, and I, I think I might have fucked myself up. Really? Because I've been doing this squeeze thing. Mm. And oh, and I now smell it's on eucalyptus in no, not on my fingers, but oh. I just once I get a smell in my brain, mm. I can smell it other places. Yes. So I'm like, y'all smell eucalyptus in so many strains. <laughs> Oh, that's like so funny. I'm like, damn, how have I missing this this that's whole time? That's so funny. I think that one smells like um like a bouquet, like a flower bouquet and like lemon, mm. lemony. Okay, I can see the floor that she's talking about. Okay, last one of mine. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna wait. Oh, okay. Just since we've done two already. Oh yeah, we can wait. Yeah. And I'll just and um yeah. You go ahead and smoke that. Mm, thank you. Mmm. I think that's my best one. Mm. Oh, yeah. This one, like a. That's the one that re- I think that's the snow cap one that reminds me of that has that sweet. Oh, really? Right. Sorry, I'll let you. Yeah, kind of. No, you, got, you took the words right out of my mouth for sure. Mm-hmm. Like sweet, like. Ooh. It's like a sour berry type of thing going on or something. Oh, sour berry. Mm-hmm. I like that. Have you grown? Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you grow? Not at the moment. I still got all my equipment. I'm probably going to sell it, honestly, just because my setup ain't there. Mm-hmm. I don't know when I'll be able to do it. I'm so busy doing other stuff. It's but, a big um, time commitment. I did it one mm-hmm. time, and I started doing the second cycle, but then they came, the fire department came in the, the apartment. No. And then they told the people I had to grow. Ugh. So, yeah. But um, Fuck that. I went through one cycle, so I got it done, and I did it, and it was cool. You know what I mean? I got to see it and experience it. Yeah. Um, I did it inside, you know, HPS light and the veg and shit. I had two mm-hmm. tents, a smaller one, and then a bigger one, to, uh, the flower in or whatever. And yeah. Yeah, cool. it came out pretty good, but some of the weed got stressed, so I had some seeds going on, but the flavor was there. Nice. The flavor was there, and the smell was there. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's what I think it's of like, mine, damn. too. It's got a lot of seeds, yeah. but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I ain't know, you know, I, I, it's my first time doing this shit. I know that shit wasn't about to be perfect, but I definitely smoked that's it, so cool. and it yeah. was good. Yeah, and like that's what I'm trying, I try to tell people. It's like, anyone can do it. Like, mm-hmm. I mean... Check your laws and stuff. Like, <laughs> right, yeah, check the laws. I never wasn't supposed to be trying to get, yeah, you like arrested or I don't know, ticket, whatever people get in yeah. laws that are not <laughs> legal, but follow the law. Uh, bleh, follow the law if you want to, but yeah, um, but it's like you yeah. don't need, like, you don't need nutrients or lights. Like, that's why I do the out- outdoor because mm-hmm. I just love like using what nature. You know, provides us. It's yeah, yo, that shit smells. That yeah, that last. You weren't lying. That last joint. I see why you say the first one smell like grass, and I feel like I just got the best whiff of it when I opened it first. If y'all been yeah. carrying it or yeah. whatever, like that first whiff really smelled like V eight fruit juice. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. I feel like awesome. when you let off these jars, it just is like, and then okay. yeah, mm-hmm. mellows out a little That's bit. The great thing about the mason jar, it's like mm-hmm. really, I'm obsessed with mason jars. Mm-hmm. Well, it's great for weed too. It's just like. Everything keeps right. stuff I want this. fresh. Mm-hmm. I'm probably good on mm-hmm. that. <laughs> yes, like, respect. Okay, yeah, wait. I have another yeah, question. So that's how how do you find the right strain for you? Like for you, like yourself. I just thought about. <laughs> We're like, how, sorry. How do people out there like oh. find the right strain for them? Sorry, mm. <laughs> that's like a different. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, oh, no, that took me you. a second. Uh, you got experiment. You gotta experiment. Just you try gotta it out. You gotta take note of what stuff is. It, like if you don't know what stuff is, I gotta think back to when I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Do you do like personal um, consultations with people? You should. That would be. I don't. I awesome. don't. But I, I. I would be down to do that. You know, that'd be something. That'd be, that'd be so cool, cool if people really wanted to learn and understand. Like I have a process of how I, you know, break down the weed and you know yeah. look at it, not physically, but like, you know, and it's changed and I've thought about it and this and that. So, mm-hmm. um, but I think the biggest thing is just experiment. Take note of what it was and how you felt. And you don't have to write everything down. Like, don't get obsessed with writing everything down with weed. Mm -hmm. Because, Mm -hmm. it, like we said, the nose is tied to the memory, the strongest. Mm -hmm. Trust it. Trust yourself. Yeah, You will remember it to an extent. Now, I got to the point where I'm like, all right, I got to start writing this shit down. You know, I had to start taking notes of it so I can make sure I'm Mm -hmm. on point with each one. Mm -hmm. Right? But before, when my first year and a half, I wasn't writing shit down. Wow. Doing these reviews, just, nothing. Just all I'm memory. Just going, nice. yeah. Like this and is just knows. what it is. Yeah, <laughs> and it literally just worked. You know what I'm saying? Your body literally is that smart to yeah. do shit. That's one of the things I learned from school. Your body's yeah. smart as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta trust it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, that's kind of how I go into it.
Do you think that there's any technology like in the future that will um, be able to kind of create an experience based on certain um, cannabinoids and terpenes? Yeah, and that's what apps and all this, I know technology and companies trying to do this. Like, what do you mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Recreate the experience without smoking? Or, or like I, I, what I picture is like, they create like a vape cartridge for you with certain terps and certain cannabinoids based on, you know, this is my physical profile. And like this based is on my, your DNA. Um, um, desired effect as well. Like Yeah, yes. and like I need help sleeping. Oh, definitely, definitely. Because if you look at food, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? One of the biggest ways to eat is by your blood type. And don't nobody uh, even yes. think about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that, I, I don't do forget. that. I would love to do that. I need to do that. I don't even know what my blood type is. Mm. I need to know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about that. My dad. The blood type diet. He knows. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, blood type diet is huge, and mm. it's it's so smart to think about it like that because we're all so different. Yeah. Or even if it's just like four differences that there are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We could all have three different blood types in totally. here or whatever. So like, I definitely feel like that'll be a thing. Um, and like I said, right now. We still kind of flying blind mm-hmm. because it don't matter what you you could tell me a whatever terpene profile. Honestly, I'm not gonna say it don't mean nothing. It means something to me. Right. Yeah, it like means this something. Is this. But why do that terpene profile and this terpene profile of different strains come out different tasting? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. Is it this sure. combination of these two terpenes? Is it these three? Is it these six? Yeah. Is it this amount? Is it when yeah. it hits this threshold? Of this amount of limonene, or is it the linalool mm. at this amount? And it doesn't yeah. have to hit this amount for it to have this certain taste. Right. Wow, and then yeah. what is making it different from different cultivators? Why is the same seeds mm-hmm. tasting different from different cultivators? Yeah. They're using different uh, things to grow it with, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This thing, yeah. this, different they soil, different, different method. nutrients. They, they, they chop it at a different date. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All these things. So it's like, what is just like working out for me? Because people always say, it was this thing that was it for me. Yeah. It was this thing. It was the hot yoga. Mm-hmm. No, you was doing all this other shit too. <laughs> yes. You got to d- eliminate all of these things mm-hmm. one at a time to actually know. Yeah. And it's never going to happen. You're not going to eliminate all these things <laughs> one at a time to figure out what it was. In a natural plan. You cannot yeah. do yeah. it. It's, you're not going to yeah. do it. You totally. know what I'm saying? Like, True. So like, I don't know what it is. I still think it's magic. <laughs> I just go on with fucking magic. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because no, I just I smell totally it. I totally feel you. And I just, I, I can pick out flavors or like sometimes I go somewhere and somebody will tell me a flavor and I don't, I haven't smelled it. Mm-hmm. And I, then, then I smell the thing. I'm like, oh my God, that smells like cantaloupes. I remember Bud Tender told me this shit smell like cantaloupe one time. <laughs> I didn't think so. And I was like, oh my God, it does. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's just an amazing plant to me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and I think we just got to keep, keep researching more. About this because right. like I know my favorite terpenes because I know what some the, that like are in, effects are mm-hmm, yep and like example linalool um, I love that terpene because I like like I said the anxiety thing so mm-hmm. I need stuff to kind of relax me yes. or stuff to give me a good mental high yes kind of relaxing <clears throat> um, so like. I know a lot of the, you know, perp strains and stuff like that will have linalool in them. That's what it says. And linalool has calming and sedative properties and can help relieve anxiety. Now, check this out. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to have nightmares, like, mm. full on I'm in My this sister, joint. too. You know, nightmares. So, sometimes I would not sleep the whole night. Wow. That's happened before. Oh, my gosh. So, my mom would put lavender on my pillow, oh. under the pillow. Oh. Linalool yes. is in lavender. Same terpene. Help sleep. Relax. So, when I grow up and smoke weed... It's natural I'm attracted to that one. You know what I'm yeah. saying? For that reason. Oh, you know it saying? makes so much sense. Boom. You know, things like that. Wow. Um, so, and that is because of an experience I had in life. Mm-hmm. Not my genetics. I mean, partially genetics, I guess. But like, it's but, really yeah. because of an experience I had in right. life yeah. that I'm connected to that terpene and that smell and that aroma. Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah. it's tough to call anything when it comes to this science shit. Yes. Yo. Like, and that's like the tough. nature versus nurture yeah. argument. It's yeah. like, well, we can look at our DNA and look at that and do the whole whatever. But if we have a really amazing spir- experience that mm-hmm. we're going to remember for our entire lives... Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to share before our the last question? Um, nothing in particular. Um, is your brand up to anything new? Like, are you getting into hell yeah. new ventures? Um, so yeah, I've been branching out. I've been trying to like establish myself on every social media. Nice. So my biggest thing right now, I feel like the cannabis industry, we too much into uh, Instagram. 
Yes. Right. It's like I everything's agree. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Instagram. But like it's so much more to the social media world. Like when you actually learn social media and how to yeah. use the different platforms, because you all got you gotta use each one different, right? Totally. So I've been getting on Twitter, uh YouTube, Twitch. Have you um as Pheno Finder done anything with the phenotypes of um mushrooms like mycelium? Any anything different with that? strains? Strains, yeah. I'm like I don't even. I've experimented know the... with the different strains, like because anytime I go get mm-hmm. different something, it's usually something different. Can you tell a difference between like strain and strain? Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Some of them haven't hit as strong. Some of them got more body effects. Mm-hmm. Some of them more have got the, the like the visuals pop more. Okay, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I feel like now I got a good routine with it, where I just mm-hmm. I literally break it up like weed, mm-hmm. so I know how much it is. Yeah, okay. because you can't tell. Totally. And yes. that's why I was like, oh, I, I remember so I just had a whole cap and just ate it with peanut butter. Yes. <laughs> Let me break it up. And but you see. don't know the yeah. weight. Right. And they weigh kind of like weird. Airy. On the, yeah. They weigh weird on a scale if you ain't weighing a certain amount. Mm-hmm. Totally. So like I would just break up a little bit now and just do it in my hand like that. And I know exactly how much I'm doing yeah. and go from there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you um, have a favorite strain? Whew, the uh, the ones I had that experience on was... Uh, Blue something. Damn. Not blue. No, Blue Heaven was a weed strain I smoked. That was the craziest weed strain I smoked. Ever. <laughs> that was a weed strain I smoked at Penn State Harrisburg. I will never forget that shit. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. I think it was laced. It must have been laced or something. Um, no, joking. But uh <laughs> damn, I can't remember the ones that I yeah, had it's blue had something. On? Yeah, blue something. Okay. But I like uh Golden Teachers are cool. Mm-hmm. I got these albino ones though. I was gonna say yeah, I have albinos. Very good. Yes. I feel like it's something going around. I think right they're now. more um energizing. It, it, yes, mm-hmm. exactly. They give you more yes. the homie told me he's like, Man, these feel kinda like a different thing. Should I ask my final question? If you could smoke weed with anyone, alive or dead, who would it be and why? Mm. Um, uh, it has to be uh, like, look, y'all gonna hate me for this. Don't hate me, but it has to be this. What? Bob Marley. It has to be. Oh yeah, it has to be because yeah. he's one of my OG. biggest musical influences. Not like I, I do rap a little bit, but now like I just yeah, do you're fun. so good. I just do a fun. You know, like, the I, stuff I, you I, post, I, I'm like, like you're so good. But like, and just in terms of influences in life, oh yeah, he's a big influence on everything. Like my pops used to play him when I'm going, oh, to, wow. taking me to school and shit. Like oh. all of this stuff, and you listen to these lyrics. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he Holy all he preaches fuck. is love. Well, thank you, Cam, so much for coming on the podcast. Oh, man. Thank y'all for having me. Girl. This was so great. Yeah, thank you great for those talk. amazing joints. Yes, for and sure. And I'm going to send you home with some of my home grow. Much love. Much love. Um, But where can people find you? Mainly on... Well, now we talked about on Instagram mm-hmm. and all the platforms. Everywhere. Twitter. Everywhere. And it's the, the Fino Finder. On all platforms. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. The Fino the Finder. The Fino Finder on all platforms. And we're going to link you in the show and everything. And it's going to yeah. be great. I'm Appreciate so you. pumped. <laughs> much love, much love. Thank you again. Yes, thank and you. And stay high, everyone. Yes, always. Always.